from the bottom of Galveston Bay off the coast of Texas. A hydraulic dredge pumps oyster shells by the ton into barges tied up alongside. In these waters, the shells form great reefs, 30 to 40 feet deep, half a mile wide, and 15 to 20 miles long. To build up like this, it's estimated they must have been accumulating for more than a thousand years. In places, shell deposits create a hazard to navigation. But that's not why the dredge is at work. Oyster shells have a number of industrial and agricultural uses, especially those that have been cleaned and softened by their long submersion. Towed to processing plants, the barge loads of shells can be converted into essential chemicals used in the production of magnesium, put to work as a binder for cement, or as in this case, brought to the Houston plant of Shell Builder Company to be converted for the most part into a necessary element in the diet of poultry. Unloaded from the barge, the shells drop down onto conveyors that whisk them into the plant for a series of operations that begin with washing, drying, and sterilization. After it's dried, the shell goes through a special type of hammer mill that crushes it, and from there to completely enclosed vibrating screens, which separate the different sizes and remove the dust. Then into bags, in sizes suitable for hens, pullets, or chicks. And what does oyster shell do for hens, pullets, and chicks? Well, it provides the grit they love to peck on in the chicken yard. It gives them the huge calcium ration they must have in order to build strong bones, and even more important, produce strong egg shells. While we may smack our lips over a plate of oysters, for a chicken there's nothing to equal a generous serving of nice, crispy, crunchy oyster shells. <laughs>